this last couple of days, the EU has announced that it's going to end its uh, sanctions against Cuba. Uh, and to some degree, I've always been interested in degree, if you could open up pathways of some sort to Syria without necessarily appeasing the bad guys, could you somehow rob Iran of some of the turf that it has in the region? And likewise in Cuba, if you could open up some pathways, could you rob some turf from Hugo Chavez in Venezuela? Sure. And I'm, I'd be interested in your views on, on both Syria and Cuba before we go to Margaret and close. Well, I, I do think that's the case. I mean, th that is one of the things that, that has led, I think, Syria and Israel to be talking to each other. They're, 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 this is an, a very difficult time for Sunni uh, Arab countries or Sunni Arab countries with Shia minorities. So this is a delicate time when, uh, when this whole Iranian situation is so potentially destabilizing, like, along with the complete uh, instability in Iraq, that there is a moment where it may, they may see it in their interest to do it. So yes, I think that's very positive and the Israelis are uh, seeking uh, to, to do this. With Cuba, obviously the change is coming. I think the change will be a very positive one. I think it will be an exciting moment for our country, economically exciting for the Cuban people. And yes, I do think it will help us uh, countering those that uh, badmouth the American people and the American government in, in South America because the Cuba thing has been a, a whipping boy that they've had forever. We eliminate that and have a decent relationship with an improved and democratic and respectful of human rights Cuba and I think you can have enormous value uh, throughout the region.